Recently, a trusted leaker found two Halo IDs that suggest that two new Halo games are in the works, one being Halo 6, and the other potentially being maybe nothing, or maybe an entirely new Halo spin-off game in development right now. Either way, 3 for 3 has been hiring, firing, and shuffling around workers like crazy, and I think something big is happening right now at Halo Studio. Microsoft has listed about 30 to 40 new job listings for 3 for 3 in just the last month or two. But in the descriptions of these new job listings for 3 for 3, there are potential clues and hints that might reveal information about a spin-off Halo game that might be in the works or Halo 6's development. Let's go ahead and get into it. Halo Follower is giving away a Master Chief Halo Xbox One controller. To participate, simply visit the link down below after this video. So we have a job listing posted on January 18th. The first one we're going to talk about is the creative director position, and it's an interesting one. It first states, 3 for 3 Industries is looking for a creative director to join us in delivering an all new VR experience in the Halo universe. It also lists the responsibilities as help shape the creative vision and design of a VR experience in the Halo universe and work closely with an external development partner and internal team leads to direct the tone and timber of the project with an eye towards compelling character development, innovative narrative progression, and engaging interactions and gameplay in VR. Now this is really exciting and awesome because if you've ever tried the HTC Vive or the Oculus or any of the headsets out there, then you might agree with me when I say that VR has a future in gaming. It really is going to be the next big thing, I believe. Although there isn't any big titles on it right now, I'm really glad that 3 for 3 Industries is moving into the future of gaming, that being VR. I mean, it basically is confirmed here that 3 for 3 Industries is delivering us an all new VR experience in the Halo universe. They're hiring a person, they are spending money on a creative director to do something like this with VR. And so I would say it is maybe pretty much confirmed at this point, although we don't know if we're ever going to see it. Maybe they might cancel it. Who knows what may happen, but they are certainly planning it, and I think that is confirmed. Although it isn't mainstream yet, I really do believe that VR is the real deal at under $1,000. It's not affordable for everybody, but if you have a couple extra hundred bucks on you, then you can probably get it. Windows Mixed Reality, though, is probably going to be what Microsoft focuses on with Halo. They're going to want to be, uh, get people to buy their VR. They're not going to go directly to Steam. They're not going to directly go to the Oculus or any of the other headsets. They are going to focus on their own take on with virtual reality. You know, Microsoft's take on VR is promising. Uh, the people that have tried the Windows Mixed Reality really do like it. And 3 for 3 even made a VR experience named Halo Recruit last year, although it was about only five minutes worth of content. It shows that 3 for 3 is beginning to experiment with VR, and I'm sure that Microsoft is wanting to get a full VR experience or some, uh, maybe a side VR experience, a mini game, if you will, onto their headset to get people to actually buy the Windows Mixed Reality. I would definitely consider buying the Windows Mixed Reality even though I already have a Vive if I knew that there was going to be a good amount of content, a good side Halo game on VR. Now if you don't understand why there's been so much talk about VR and virtual reality and the future of gaming and why the games are so entertaining, just watch some people play it. Go to a local arcade if there's one near you and just try it out and you'll see why because it is a very, very awesome experience. You know, I'm not saying that it's like future Ready Player One experience, but it is very, very, very cool and you, you just need to check it out yourself. And to wrap this up, I really hope that 3 for 3 finds a good creative director for this position. I think that we might see full-fledged AAA games finally come in 2020 or 2022, and hopefully Halo will be a part of that first wave of really big, legit games going on to VR, because I think by that time, later in maybe five years, virtual reality will be uh, something that every home has, just like consoles, just like TVs, maybe. Next up, we have the graphics developer. It's another job at 3 for 3 that they were hiring, but now it has been taken. It is described as the ideal candidate will love getting their hands dirty, making complex play scenes amazing visually. And a bonus would be, 
previous work on rendering weather, foliage, organics, real-time lighting, etc. Now this job didn't have anything specifically interesting, but it got me thinking about Halo's new engine and how much better Halo may look in Halo 6 compared to Halo 4 or Halo 5. More specifically, the weather, the dynamic, the animals that may run around the maps while we play. That's something I loved about Halo Reach was when there was MOA running around, when there was actual creatures that we could interact because that's one big thing for sci-fi, at least for me, because I'm a big sci-fi fan, obviously. I think if you're a fan of Halo, you're probably a fan of sci-fi and seeing the creatures run around while you're fighting aliens seems to be sort of like a given, but it's just something we haven't seen enough in Halo. So definitely better visuals, better animals, better lighting, and better weather, of course. Stuff that we can actually see on our screen, the, the, the rain, the water, the snow, whatever it may be, we want better weather. That's something big that really, I think, will count when we are visiting alien worlds in Halo. Now we have another position here. It is called the Lead Graphics Engineer. It is taken, but it is described as is looking for someone to join our team working on the next big Halo shooter experience. Be that Halo 6 or a side spin-off game, it's really, really great to see that they are hiring people for the next big shooter experience, which I believe they are talking about Halo 6 here. Be part of a studio that values collaboration, innovative thinking, and especially passion for the player. As the graphics lead, you will be leading, managing, and contributing directly on the award-winning graphics team, collaborating closely with the art teams and pushing the visual bar to inconceivable levels on future FPS Halo titles. Titles with an S. The ideal candidate will have a passion for game graphics and directing a strong team. Love getting their hands dirty working directly with the content teams while coding incredible systems. You will drive graphical innovation and produce amazing systems and visuals for our entire future FPS Halo experiences. If stunning 60HZ 4K graphics gets you excited, this is the right job for you. Why this job posting didn't directly confirm anything, maybe besides the idea of maybe Halo 6 or a side Halo game being in 60HZ or 4K graphics, it got me excited because of the Xbox One X and the future of what 343 might do with it. This new console is three times more powerful than the Xbox One, and without a doubt, Microsoft's flagship Halo series will take full advantage of it. I really do believe that Microsoft will use Halo, hopefully, ethically, to promote their own things like the Xbox One X and Windows Mixed Reality. While not all Halo fans will be able to enjoy either, or even just the Xbox One X, I mean, it is still it, those who have upgraded those people will be accounted for by the developers, and that is exciting. It makes me want to buy an Xbox One X that much more. This job listing also, again, got me thinking how 3 will improve the engine Halo runs on the actual engine and how the next Halo game will not only increase in quality of graphics and visuals, but also optimization making much larger scenarios possible, much larger memory for the game to run on, and things like maybe larger maps, larger, bigger epic battles, and also a bigger forge palette, more forge objects on the screen at once. Basically, everything will be able to handle the visuals a lot better. I'm really excited to see how Halo 6 will improve in that field, and I'm glad that 3 for 3 has already found somebody for this position. Again, we have another recent job listing by Microsoft that was quickly snatched up, the Senior Animation Engineer, and the description reads, 3 for 3 Industries, the studio developing Halo games, is looking for a Senior Animation Engineer to join our team working on the next big Halo shooter experience. As a senior animation engineer, you will help extend our animation feature set while supporting the development of new characters. For responsibilities, the listing also said collaborate with designers, animators, and AI engineers in the development of new character functionality. Now this got me curious, who and what new characters will we see in Halo 6? Will they be playable? It sure seems like they're saying that here. 
Although we heard a while back that there will be no new playable characters in Halo 6, I think they were talking mainly about the campaign there. And by the way, that could always change for the campaign as well. This job listing doesn't even necessarily confirm that we're going to be playing anybody new. It simply implies that they are developing new models, new character models, and background characters or new enemies and things of that nature. Not specifically new actual playable characters in campaign. But I do want to hear your ideas for this. What other characters or people or things would you like to play as in Halo 6? Let me know down in the comment section below. We also have a senior producer posted on January 16th, 2018. This role is described and reads as will contribute to the overall 33 Industries programming strategy with a focus on managing the development and execution of various content projects and brand expression. And also says, the producer will collaborate and work closely with the transmedia content team, internal teams such as community, esports, marketing, PR, game, localization teams, as well as external partners and vendors. The producer will also contribute to the addition, planning, and execution around new content ideas. One key note in all of this is that little esports comment. I think the success of esports on Halo 5 Guardians will carry over into Halo 6, and I think that Thrift 3 is certainly spending a lot of time right now in development thinking about the future of online entertainment with esports. Twitch streaming, huge tournaments, large prize pools brings in tons of viewers and viewers means ad revenue and tons of excitement for the game itself, which is even more important to Microsoft and 343 Industries. Without a doubt, 343 is focused on this and will need someone to organize, plan, and create new ideas that promote these ideas in ethical ways that have worked so well in Halo 5. There are tons of more job postings and we have barely scratched the surface. I'll be making more videos like this with tons of more potential clues and hints as to how Halo 6 or a Halo spinoff side Halo game is in development and what they may or may not be planning for it. So what do you guys think about all this? Was there anything you found of interest in any of this? Anything important? Any clues I missed? Let me know down in the comments section below. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, be sure to participate in the Xbox One Master Chief Controller giveaway. You may be the lucky winner for that. Link down in the description below. Peace out, guys. Take care, fam. I'll see you later.